morning, Ms. Brown. Good morning. Thank you for allowing us to interview you. And thank you for inviting me. Where did you grow up? I grew up in a little town called Tuskegee, Alabama. What did you do for fun when you were our age? We did m many things. We didn't, didn't take much to make us happy, but we had a lot of activities. Uh, for example, I was uh, in a cheerlead on cheer cheerleading team. Uh, I was a major rat. Uh, every Saturday morning, uh, those people who were interested in dance and going into drama, we had a meeting on Saturday mornings to participate, similar to some of the things that you're doing today by learning how to use media. Where did you attend college? I attended uh, in Nashville, Tennessee, Tennessee A&I State University for undergrad undergraduate school. What was your majors? My major was health and physical education and recreation. Uh, my minor was, uh, at one point I thought about going to medical school, so I started out with uh, pre-med. When did you decide you wanted to major in mass communication? And I loved my, my gym teacher, my physical education teacher in high school. And she did everything, she loved everybody, and she was very active, and I was very active. So eventually I decided that's what I want to major in when I go to college and undergraduate school. When did you decide you wanted to teach? I decided I came here to get a job, as you know, Tuskegee is very, very small. So our parents had all the jobs. So I decided to come to Washington, D.C. And um, at that time, they had a lot of jobs. But their criterion for being a teacher is, is different here in Maryland, Virginia, and D.C. So what I did was I started substituting uh, at, in D.C public schools. And then I decided I really liked it. So I decided mm, I'm not going to be a recreational specialist. I want to be a teacher in D.C. public schools. So and that was in 1970. Um, and I've been there ever since. Where was your first teaching job? My first teaching job was at Brown Junior High School uh, off of Benning Road in Washington, D.C. How did you come to Kettering Middle School? What happened was uh, my husband and I bought a home out here. And uh, I used to come over here and I was a cheerleader commissioner for Kettering Boys and Girls Club. And so I became, I became friends with the assistant principal and principal uh, over here at uh, uh, Kettering. And so when I retired from D.C. public schools, I decided, well, you know, this close to the house, uh, and I know a lot of the kids in the community, and I'd like to try because I'm not ready to retire yet. So that's what I did. I came out here and I got a job uh, in Kettering in 2004. And at that point, I was a librarian, and I have a master's, I have a master's degree in, um, media technology and library science. You know, here are A days. Where do you go on B days? On B days, I'm way at the end of uh, uh, Maryland near the uh, Virginia State Line, which is called Oxon Hill Middle School. I heard your son played pro football. Tell me about him. My son's name is Marvin. Uh, he's uh, 35 years old now. And uh, he attended DeMatha Catholic High School, and he received 35 Division I scholarship offers uh, before he went to the NFL. Uh, he played with the Baltimore Ravens for a while, um, Cleveland Browns, and Kansas City Chiefs. After leaving the uh, uh, NFL. He then started with um, um, arena football, which he loved too, with the Tampa Bay Storms 
and uh, the Philadelphia Souls. And so to this day, now he's uh, coaching uh, at a high school. Is there anything else you would like to share with us? What I would share with you that you probably already know is that two people that you know about, which is Tom Joyner and um, Lana Ritchie, were also born in uh, Tuskegee. And they frequently come back home and do a lot of things for the community. Also, the Tuskegee Airmen. Okay? And did you know that Booker T. Washington found a Tuskegee Institute? And did you know that Booker T. Car and that um, George Washington Carver trained the former farmers in Alabama and Tuskegee? That's something I would want you to know and remember. Thank you for your time, Ms. Ruff. And I thank you for inviting me.